Good evening, I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com and it's Tuesday, um, October 27th. I want to just look at Apple. This won't take too long. Um, the company reported earnings. They beat estimates, but they gave kind of tepid guidance going forward. And the market cares more about, you know, not like, not even what have you done for me lately? It's what are you going to do for me next? And my suggestion would be just to not really do anything with Apple right now. This is not a stock that I would want to be long. I haven't wanted to be long this stock um, for a long time. And here's why. Right here. I mean, does it, it doesn't get a whole lot plainer than this. Can I use the word plainer or is it more plain? Anyway, top... And then everything sold off here on, on uh, August 24th. Uh, so would I use this as an opportunity to buy Apple at 95? Pfft, maybe, but there's like 98 bazillion stocks that were on sale that day. So you maybe want to be looking at buying something else with better prospects. Anyway, so the stock trades up and now it is back up just barely above this last level here. So here's what I want to I want to mention. First of all, you know, and I've said this a lot. Don't don't be trading after hours. You're just going to look like a fool. I mean, maybe nobody else will see it, but the guy on your the other side of your trade will. Look at Apple. Um, so they report earnings, and the stock immediately starts gyrating up and down. Okay. Some moron thinks it's it's a sell down here at 110. Some moron thinks it's a buy up here at like 117. Depending on who was who, you know, they feel either good or bad. But the bottom line is this. This is a lot of gyrating around. For what? It's for gambling. Typically, the first move is wrong. Like I was sitting here watching um, after hours with a, a friend of mine just looking at the tape on, on CNBC. And I forget which company it was that reported earnings. And, um, but the stock was down. Uh, and I said, oh, just, just watch what happens here. And sure enough, stock started climbing. It's just like the first move is almost always wrong on a stock uh, in response to earnings. You would do well to keep that in mind. So don't be trading after hours. But if the stock falls, you know, it's down a little bit now. And who knows what the upgrades or downgrades are going to be. But if the stock falls back to the 50-day moving average and then finds support there, and the 50-day MA right now is at 112. So if the stock happens to come down to 112, we'll even say 110, and then find support here, then that's your opportunity to buy this stock. If it falls though, really, and I said 110 and that's fine, it's an even number, but if the stock starts falling below this level, then this entire move is one big fake out above this 50 day moving average and you want to get out of this stock. And I really don't care that People say, oh, well, the stock is really cheap. The multiple is really low. Do you know what multiple was really low at one point? Hewlett Packard. Another one, Bethlehem Steel. Okay. What I'm saying is you don't just look at every, not that this is a Bethlehem Steel, but you don't just look at every stock with a cheap multiple and say like, wow, I got to buy that stock. At the end of the day, and I know this is going to tick some of you off, but I really don't care. Um, this is a hardware company. They sell hardware. They just don't sell printers. So they're a little bit different than Hewlett Packard. Um, and I know that's blasphemy to some of you, but it's a hardware company, period. Yeah, they, they write the code that goes into their boxes and stuff, but this is a very fickle industry and I'm telling you and I'm looking forward to seeing the next, the big iPad so that my lousy eyes can actually read something. But I think the blooms come off the rose here. So anyway, trade this at, you know, at your own risk. It's in consolidation now. If you think this was the quarter that it took for Apple to return to its old glory days at 135, then be my guest. I would just say it's a stock that I want to either avoid 
or at least be patient with because I don't think this is a market leader. I don't think it's going to be a market leader. I think you can put your money to work better elsewhere.